either. Hello, Miss Ashworth. Who the How hell are, are you? you? Are you feeling better? Do I know you? Of course. You don't remember me. My name is Mitzi Hunt. We met a few days ago. You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had were real good. You probably had one too many, mind you. Oh, this is the uh, woman who called the hospital. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. It is me, indeed. A girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. I'll understand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but... I had other reasons for it, too. Personal reasons. It's important. It's oh, really? important. That's why I came here the other night. To talk to you. Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. I saw the ad you'd put in the paper. It seems you have a room to rent. Oh, yeah. I... They still print that? It was months ago. Should've Where used Craigslist. I forgot all about it. I gave up on it, actually. Well, I'd like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. But... You've got the room, and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? Yay! Money! I'm very tidy. I don't make much noise, and... I promise not to spend too long in the bathroom in the morning. I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. I'm sorry. But I did. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. What do you think? Do we have a deal? Yeah, why the hell not? Well, I guess I could do with some... Forward that money, plot. But... Great. Can I come in? Did they even really need to do that? Like, shit that, uh, dissolved there? How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... Okay, I'll tell you. You won't like it, probably, but I'll tell you. I picked the lock. You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He taught me some of that stuff too. How handy. I got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a few types of lock picks in it. She's the master of unlocking. Expensive. Custom made. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. I see. But you know, it does sound like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. It's not important anymore. I guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. The noise they made. Aw, her cats incredible. cared. That's kind of cool. Like ghosts howling. Then for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. Now you just get weird. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and got the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. A hunch? Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? How can I trust you? How should I know you won't slit my throat when I sleep? Like you would not. Jesus, what's that. wrong with you? <laughs> slit your throat? Why are you always so suspicious of people? If I wanted to do yes. I would never have bothered saving you, would I? Just think about it for a second. Okay, she's got a point there. All the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. And I wanted to see if you've made it. This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. 
I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? Oh, really? I slept at the train station last night. There's a guy there who docks rats. You should see him. Match anyway, made in heaven. Can you even afford rent for Cat them? lady, rat sure. man. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why not go to a hotel then? I hate hotels. More than train stations. With homeless weirdos. She never said and he was rats. homeless. Robbie? Oh no, he's cool. He's alright. And he kept the rats away. Well, I died in that hospital, if you must know. Oh. But not for long enough. It seems I must have been too attached to this shitty life I lead, and must suffer some more before I can... Oh, well, she got around it. Jesus, Miss Ashworth. Why all this negativity? What in the world has made you think this way? Clearly the only thing you suffer is some nasty depression. Not that it's any of my business. But if you tried talking about it to a doctor... Yep, that went real well! <laughs> real well! Not at first, but yeah, it did. Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it, this flat's falling apart. It's cold, it's dark, it's a bit moldy. This is the old part of town. They had used to things in happens. Europe. It's far from the city center, and there are only two buses going and through. And they swap the R's and E's sometimes. And I'm known around Just so you know. Just so you know. Wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. I'm not exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? People. Just people. I don't give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. I like that I attitude. Like I like that attitude too. You think they'll smell the rats on me? I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see it. I'd love to see it. And I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck, and it doesn't shut properly. It's alright. I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I'll tidy up. It's got a funny smell. I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. That's incense. Fine. I give up. Follow me. You can see it for yourself, if you're so stubborn. Just don't steal my teddy bear. Ooh, I already saw the teddy bear and freaked out, so... This room is perfect! Really? What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side, if that's okay with you. But most of it I can use. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to cover me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and somewhere to watch too. You got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Is there anyone I can contact? For references? Well, I've never really rented a room before, so not really. Nope. I've lived with my mum all my life. Well, recently, that is. I could give her a call. Oh, that would be a perfect spot for my post up there. Um. Yeah, sh sure, that would be okay. You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? Nope, I just a one know. or two timer. What do serial murderers look like anyway? A scar across the face, an eye patch, rough stubble. Those sort of things, I guess. That's a pirate you've just Apparently described. Apparently I had something on my finger just when I went to rub my eye. And we've got a full picture. This is not pleasant. But who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Not at all. Anyway. Oh, nice. You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story, though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. That's In better. that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, alright. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person. But it's a... Friend of a friend. 
I only ever talk to this guy online, so... Oh, great. Gonna kill him. Like. This should turn into an episode of Catfish. What was I talking about? Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. I managed to track him down. It's the pest control guy. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. Oh, maybe it's the bald dude. I don't know which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here all together. He's in one of them, and I must just figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. Great, what meet the neighbors. From this person? I just want to talk to him. He said something... Because, you know, tracking someone down on the computer is not creepy at all. Actually, I kind of admire it. I need to talk to him to get closure, you know. Just talk. Are you sure? Yep. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. Yeah, hi, I'm Neve from Are MTV. You part of that emo subculture? Please don't say that word ever again. No, no, this is just how I dress. I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that emo crap. I can respect I this. Hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. Okay. Clearly a sensitive subject for you. You know, people seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're called for emo. You can't generalize like that. It's more complicated. I dress in black too. Of course. That's because black is the best color. Period. You know, you've been asking me all these questions and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. I mean, you've just gone through a terrible experience. You barely survived. We went over this. I, I didn't survive. I'm out of line to ask you this. But I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. What made you do that? What did you feel? Long story. I won't bore you with this personal crap. Ha ha ha. Right back at me, I guess. I did give you a short version, though. Yes, but somehow I can't help the feeling that you've omitted a few important facts. Just some details. Like the fact you're totally creeping on anyway, some dude and you're... your story is the kind that can't be yeah. shortened. Still, if you feel like talking about it sometimes, I'd love to listen. I'll bear that in mind, Mitzi. Let's go back to the living room. Okay. The room's great. So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? Uh-oh. I hope you're not going to change your mind about this. Uh-oh. Miss oh. Ashworth? That's weird. What happened? Are you alright? Go away! You have to go away right now. But why? Miss Ashworth, what's wrong? You're not safe here. You should leave. Now. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible's gonna happen to you. Please. Just leave me alone. Kind of sucks that she might be one of them because I like her. I, have my I also noticed like I they actually animated I... the breathing. It's really cool. I knew you were one of them. I knew it. What are you talking about? Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason. Calm down. I'm not gonna do anything to you, all right? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. The old lady that was behind her is the one who okay? set, who made me immortal after I tried to kill myself in the first chapter. I'm a little confused here. And is pointing out these parasites I need to kill. Oh, no. But I'm not sure if the old lady said this woman's supposed to be one of my victims or if she's one of the candle tied victims. I know. Wait, what? I know. Wait, what? Did you know Miss Ashworth? What? Are you some sort of a psychic? 
Do you possess some kind of supernatural mind reading abilities? What? Or is it just so fucking obvious? Excuse me. What do you mean? I... I don't know how you're going to die. But... Call it a hunch, if you like. It's cool. A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly. Started, as a matter of fact. Do I get an accomplice? See, I'll show you. Here, Miss Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again. Oh, cancer. <laughs>